Today we're going to be canning milk. I like to make sure the jars are really clean, so I'll spray it with my homemade um, essential oil cleaner. And then I just rinse it out here. Make sure it's all rinsed out really good and dry them before I put my milk in. Once they've dried for a bit, then I'll just go ahead and pour the milk right in. Um, any extra milk. I've went ahead here and took the cream off, but you don't have to take the cream off if you would rather not. So I use a funnel here just because I try to keep it off the rim of my jar. And then I'm going to fill it up just to the bottom of the rim there, as you can see right here. And I just fill up as much as the milk I have. My canner will hold seven quarts. The milk comes out tasting more like um, what you would buy at the store like for evaporated milk but it's not as thick you can see here this is milk that i just took out of the canner from yesterday um looks like i left a little bit of the cream on here right here but um yeah it kind of has that same look but it's not as thick as evaporated milk it works perfectly you can't tell any difference like in your cooking or anything like that baking so it will store on your shelves in your cellar, and then as soon as you open the can, if you don't use it all, of course you'll want to keep that in the fridge as well. I'll link up the jars and the little funnel here and the pressure canner that I like to use in the description below. And with your cream, you can make butter, you can go ahead and put it in the freezer, or just use it for your coffee or however you like to use your cream, make ice cream, whatever. So once all of my milk jars are full, I just take a damp paper towel, wipe the tops of all the rims to make sure there's no milk so that it will for sure seal. Then I'm just taking clean flats and rings, and these do not have to even be heated up for milk. And you just put them right on the jar and tighten them firm. Um, you'll notice too with the jars, I didn't even heat them as either. So with milk, you don't have to do that. So you just put them all on here. And then we will put them in our pressure canner. So I go ahead and put probably like a half inch of water in my pressure canner. And then just go ahead and put your jars of milk in. Like I said, mine will hold seven jars. And the one I like to use is the one here with the twist down. It gets a way better seal, which then means that you're gonna have way less time for your pot heating up. And it's just, I love this pressure canner. It's made in the USA and I'll put a link to it below. Check it out. If you don't have a pressure canner, this is the one you're going to want to go with. So then I just take the lid, put this on, twist it just a bit to where these are lined up. And you take one from both sides and tighten it. And you do that all the way around with all six of them. Then I'm going to turn my pressure canner on about seven on my stove so it's about medium heat medium high heat and what I'm gonna do is wait till it starts to steam out of the pot here and as soon as it starts to steam I'm gonna time it for eight to ten minutes then I'm gonna put my bobber on top and as soon, just as soon as it jiggles one time, I'm gonna turn the pot off, let it cool, and it's done. So give it just a few moments, we'll watch it. I'll show you how it's starting to steam, and then you'll see just how easy it is to can your own milk and have it available in your own cellar on your shelf to use anytime, whether your cow's dry or you need a little extra milk. 
few minutes and though you can't see it here it's just barely starting to blow so what I'm gonna do now is set my timer for 10 minutes by that time it'll be really blowing out nicely and then I'm going to put the bobber on it so my timer just went off and you can really feel it you can't see it really in the video but it's really steaming I'm gonna go ahead and put my bobber on and as soon as it jiggles one time we'll turn it off so it's just starting to jiggle so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off I left my pot on seven the entire time. So now just to let it cool here on the stove, let these sit until they're cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out. Um, you can use, I'm using raw milk. You can use 2% whole milk, raw milk, whatever type of milk you'd like. But this is just how easy it is. So it's ready to go on the shelf and last you for when you're needing that extra milk. 